To start your app project part one designing screens, you're actually going to open up the written directions and click on the link that says click here and then click the blue text that appears underneath it. That's going to bring you to the page where you're going to begin coding your project. So what you're going to do from there is you'll click on the red continue with Google button on the right hand side. From there, what you'll do is you'll click on your account. And if it comes up with anything else to click, you'll click on allow. This might not come up for you, but anyway, from there, it's going to bring you to your project page where you're going to begin making your app. So then from here, you and your group members are going to split up doing um, different parts of the app. What you're going to do is you're going to click on um, the design tab up at the top. And from there, what you're going to do is you're going to give your screen a name. So right now the name is just screen one. What you want to do, all right, click the design tab and then give it a name that makes sense. So for example, if you were making the home screen, you might call it home screen. Make sure you don't have any spaces in the ID name. Then from here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to show you how to make question one. So for example, if I were working with a group of four, one person might be doing the home screen, one person might be doing question one, one person might be doing question two, one person might be doing question three. All right, so I'm just going to demonstrate what we're going to do to make question one. Um, it's super important that you have that ID name there. Anyway, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your rough draft. So you can find that. Um, in Google Drive. So for example, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit control shift in the button above the six key and notice that I am on the question one um, screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag across from the top left corner to the bottom right corner of my question one screen in my rough draft. And then from here, I'm going to click on capture. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to my code.org tab and I might need to scroll down a little bit um, at the bottom. There's going to be a little choose link right there at the bottom. I'm gonna click on that. And then from here, I'm gonna click on upload file. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on where it says recent in the top left corner. And then I should see my screenshot and I'm gonna click on that screenshot, make sure it's selected and then hit open and then I'm gonna click on choose. So then I'm gonna see that that screen appears there for question one. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to need to make buttons from screenshotted images. This is gonna seem a little bit repetitive, but what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go back to your rough draft. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to hit control shift and the button above the six key again. What you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to capture just the stuff for the first answer choice. So kind of what I'm doing is I'm clicking and dragging. So you'll see that I have where it says video games selected. And so then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on capture. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into code.org and I'm going to click and drag. Um, I might need to scroll down a little bit because actually it's hidden a bit. I'm going to click and drag where it says image and I'm going to put that on top of the video games image. All right, so then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just, I might need to look over here where it says ID image. This is important. You're gonna give it an ID name that makes sense. Instead of calling it image one, we'll call it something like gaming pick. All right, so, because it's going to be a picture of a video game system. So then from here, what we're going to do is we're gonna scroll down in this menu um, until I see the, um, the choose link again. I'm gonna click on that choose link and then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on upload file and I might need to click on recent again. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the new screenshot, which is, should appear at the top. And then I'm going to click on open and then I'm going to click the choose button next to that new screenshot. So it's going to look a little bit repetitive where it's going to have the same exact, you know, sort of thing here. Um, if you click and drag the bottom right corner, you can resize it. Um, but basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to do that for each of the different answer choices, because when you click on video games, it's going to do something different than, for example, if you were to click on sports. So then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to repeat that process to screenshot all of your different answer choices. Um, and then from here, what you're going to do is let's just say, for example, 
um, you have everything done on this screen. To be able to add a new screen, you're going to click the drop down arrow um, that's kind of right here toward the top right corner of the little mobile phone. You're going to click on new screen. And just like you did for the other one, up at the um, ID name, you want to give it a name that makes sense. So for example, if it's your second question, you'd give it a name like question two. And then you would repeat the other process of adding the um, all the screen elements. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you would go about sharing your screen with someone. So for example, if um, I were ready to share it with a partner, what I would do is I would hit the run button, just kind of make sure I have everything that I want. Then I would click on share, and then there's going to be a link up at the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that link. And then from here, what I would do is I would go into a new tab, go to Gmail, and then I could send that link to my group members. And so what I'm going to do right now is just to demonstrate, I'm just going to send it to myself. All right, so I'm going to click on compose. And hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. Unfortunately, it's taking a little while to load. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that link in an email. Hopefully I'm able to do this soon. It does say loading. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to paste that link and I'm just going to send it to myself just to demonstrate, but you would send it to group members. And then from here, what you would do is if somebody sent their um, link to you, um, what you could do is if you are in the design tab, what you would need to do is you might need to hit reset to get the drop down arrow back here. Notice when I hit run, the drop down arrow is hidden. If I hit reset, it's shown. From here, what I would do is I would click on the drop down arrow and hit import screen. And then from here, I would paste the URL that was sent to me and then hit next. And then you would check off the screens that you want to import and then click on import. 